Hey y'all, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, please take 10 seconds out of your day to make a big difference in this single mama's life and go ahead and subscribe, hit the little like button, share this video, comment, do what you will, support my little algorithm. Um, I'm doing a little bit of a different reading today. We're reading today from the Russian Gypsy fortune telling cards. I am the Southern Strega, which is the Italian word for witch, and these are my Italian ancestors over here, but on this side are my Slavic ancestors. So I'm tapping into them today to bring you a little intuitive reading from the Gypsy fortune telling cards. Um, if you guys want an explanation of how this deck works, it's 25 cards. You use the entire deck for the reading. And there's a very specific way to use these cards. I'm doing a tutorial for that on my other channel. The link will be in the description box below. I will also be reading the actual book definitions of the cards that you pull that match up on here. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Um, that will also be in that video on my other channel. Go ahead and subscribe to that one while you're over there as well. Um, I'm going to do the intuitive portion. I read these cards differently. I'm an intuitive reader. I don't follow rules. I read the way that I'm called to read, and I'm called to read these in a very different way than is told to do so by the book. So, with that being said, let's get to your reading, all right? Alrighty, Libra. What do my Libras need to know today? Oof, I guess we're stopping there, Libra. Okay. Some of y'all are forgiving yourself for something, all right? You put your heart into something, all right? There's a situation that you were very much emotionally invested in. You got some kind of a wake-up call right here that, that's toxic. That is something that you need to put in the past. That it was, you know, only dragging you backwards into some bad energy. I feel like it was somebody who was putting you back into bad energy, which was calling in bad luck for you. I feel like you're making peace with that or your, your heart is healing from whatever that is. I feel like you're not going to be as emotionally triggered by whatever this energy is. It comes with a big wake-up call, though. Yeah, with a letter or something. There's, like, news coming in that's going to make you realize how toxic something was or how, you know, really, you really needed to make peace with this. And I feel like you're doing that. A lot of y'all are getting good news about a money situation that has been very stagnant for a very long time. It's like something you thought you would never overcome. It's like you've been saving something for a really long time and you finally get that money. You finally get news that that's coming in. There's a lot of happy news coming into you, all right? I do feel like this is like the like gatherings that you're going to, parties, dinners, things like that. It's like going going out, being with your friends, things like that. It leads to a lot of clarity. It leads to a lot of joy. It leads to a lot of abundance. I feel like it's almost like you find some kind of an opportunity by doing that that can get you over these financial burdens that you've been facing. A lot of y'all have a, like, commitment coming your way. You're not going to trust this situation at first. I feel like this energy is going to be very guarded and you're going to be untrustworthy. Like, you're not going to... It's like you, you can get kind of a bad vibe from it when they come. It's like a hesitancy to want to proceed with whatever this is. There's like a big red flag or something that's coming up that you don't... Yeah, de definitely... Don't pursue that, all right? I do feel like a lot of y'all have somebody coming in and I do feel like there's a lot of this person is hiding and I do feel like there's a, an immovable energy with whatever this is and it's also a very sneaky energy. It reads like Seven of Swords. I feel like this person might be committed to somebody else in the current situation and not wanting to tell you about that. A lot of y'all are learning a lot about your past and that is healing something for you in the future. It's like doing research and delving into your ancestry or something like that or learning from past mistakes and coming out, you know, for the better about whatever that is. It's like somebody hits a wall and they realize that they, that they need to get in a better energy here and they need to go back and backtrack and figure out what it is, where they went wrong. I feel like somebody does that and I feel like they do figure it out and I do feel like they're getting something good for that. A lot of y'all that's healing childhood trauma. A lot of you are addressing trauma from the past, you know, from when you were smaller that you've not wanted to touch. <clears throat> You're realizing that this is a demon. You're realizing that this is something that keeps you from being happy. 
you're realizing that this is something that, you know, it like starves you. I don't know what this is. Like a lot of you, this energy, like it's like a, it sucks your energy out. It feeds off of you. You're realizing that somebody like feeds off of your energy. It's like an energy vampire. And I feel like you're disconnecting from that. A lot of y'all need to be very careful who you're putting your children around. A lot of you need to go home, all right? You need to go home. That's going to, you know, reset your energy. Some of y'all are scared to go back and have a conversation with somebody. I feel like it needs to be done. I feel like that's how you move past something. Go back to where people are loyal to you. Go back to where you feel comfortable. Go back to where you feel safe. A lot of y'all need to be in that space, all right? I feel like that's going to bring you a lot of clarity regarding something. There is a lot of helpful energy around you right now. A lot of you are back and forth about whether there's something you can, could need to commit to, especially regarding your home or a permanent, you know, a permanent move here, all right? I feel like there's like you're torn. Sometimes you feel like this would make you really happy. Something it's something you feel like it's something you could live with forever. And other times you just don't know. You, it's like you have a lot of trust issues coming up in this reading, Libra. Like a lot. It's like a lot of untrustworthiness. It's a lot of, you know, feeling like you can't count on anybody. It's a lot of feeling like nobody is showing their real face here. I feel like that's why you need to disconnect. You need to go back to where you feel safe because I feel like there is a lot of energy around you that's really unpredictable and it's really unclear. Somebody is also being super like emotionally greedy here. The fish and the pig together. And it's like, almost, I feel like, why do you find like you're dealing possibly with a Sagittarius? Somebody's trying to figure you out, all right? Like, there's a lot hidden beneath the surface with whatever this situation is. I feel like that's all getting brought to light. Somebody's becoming the wiser. Somebody thinks you can't put lipstick on a pig. I just got that. <laughs> somebody's figuring out, though, somebody's true motivations for something. They've done a really good job hiding it to this point, but I feel like all that is being, you know brought to light it's literally like a flame getting lit underneath whatever that energy is Ooh, the book is matching up for you exactly that's nice this i feel like is your angel taking care of something for you like it's a done deal i just heard it's a done deal like this is gone this toxicity whatever this is it's gone we're kicking this they're removing something from your energy that needs to be removed I feel like they're almost taking it off your path before you even step on it. I, f I just got you like walking through a forest and there's about to be a snake crossing your path and they snatch it out of the way. You're, you're dodging a bullet. I feel like they're protecting you from something. I don't even feel like you're going to be aware of this. Yeah. Literally dodging a bullet almost. Like it's like they're taking you. It's like missing an accident by like one second. Some of y'all need to stop trying to figure out why somebody is the way that they are. They're just that way. You need to dead it. You don't understand why somebody's acting so emotionally immature or acting so, you know, elusive with their feelings. Why they're not, you know, in empress energy with you. Why they're so fixed on being manipulative. Give up, all right? There's no figuring that out. Like, riddle me this. You don't need to figure out that riddle. Yeah, sail past it quickly. There's a need for you to be connecting yourself to new energies here. In the center of your reading is like the ship, the bridge, the rope, and the flowers. Like you need to just be only connecting yourself to things that bring you peace right now. I feel like a lot of you aren't. I feel like a lot of you are living in the past. Like there's so much from the past coming up with this reading and about trying to figure it out and sort it out and to try to, you know, get clear, rational energies. I mean, you're a Libra. You like to hear both sides of the story, but I feel like at this point, you're just listening to too many stories. <laughs> You need to make your own story, all right? You need to tie your knot to something. You need to tie your own knots instead of like being tied up with all of this shit. Yes, you being involved with these things is draining. It's cheating yourself. It's, you know, 
taking away from your finances and your ability to support yourself. Also, I do feel like there's a very protective energy with the home and with money here. You need to be very protective of that. Be careful who you're letting in and out of your home and your business. What is this about? Definitely a tower moment coming, all right? It's a good tower moment for you. It's going to be like a violent one. It uproots something very much literally. The purpose for this tower moment is going to be because you're not getting the kind of luck that you deserve. You're not calling in good fortune. It's, it's turning the wheel, but it's doing it in a very violent way. A lot of you might experience like a natural disaster or like um uh, like literally some kind of something that uproots you from your home or you're forced to leave your home there is that you come out for the better for that i want to warn you about that like you're not going to think so at the time it's going to feel very uncomfortable to say the least but it has a happy ending yep it unlocks that knot you tie yourself then to something that's more beneficial it's very much guided by your ancestors. It's meant to protect you. It's a deal that was made in a past life that you can't avoid. Something is coming to an end that you don't want to come to an end, but it's like a past life soul contract. It had to be fulfilled. It's been fulfilled. It's time to move on to a new one. This was in the works for a long time, and it was meant to fortify you and to make things stronger for you. You need to be accepting of that change, and I don't feel like you're going to want to. There's the handshake. Yep, you definitely need to be accepting of that change. Accepting that change like puts something to rest. It caused started like shifts the energy just shifted completely here. Once you make peace with this and accept these violent changes, so I feel like a lot of you are going through a lot of violent changes. Once you make peace with that, that the wheel does what the wheel wants and it will not stop and you can't stop it, then you start calling in loyal people, the dog, the stork, you start getting new additions to your house, like you know, happy additions loyalty like people that should be there people that belong in your energy hell yeah the sun the apple because that proves your 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 lesson libra is to not try to get justice it's literally to not you know try to balance the scales try to make things equal try to make things fair sometimes you have to be unfair sometimes you have to be the bad guy sometimes there isn't a good resolution but there needs to be a resolution and the second you make peace with that and you make that resolution is when like literally all the joy in the world comes in you got a horseshoe, you've got the sun, you've got apples, you've got the dog. I mean, this would be an angel, like flowers. <coughs> <coughs> a lot of y'all just need to forgive something or yourself from the past. And once you move past that and make peace with it, like a whole new door opens up. Wedding ring, anchor, the bear, the cardinals. Yes. Also, your ancestors already know who you're going to marry. It's like set in stone. I don't, and they're going to remove everything in your path that is not this person. Like, if this is the Eight of Cups situation that you're in, where you're only getting, like, half the love that you deserve, or it's not, like, everything you've ever wanted, or if you don't think you could have everything you ever wanted, you're wrong. It's been planned. I just get, it's been written. It is written. It's been written. It's been written, and you can't do anything to stop it. Like, they're going to remove everything else in your path with this side here. They're going to take it all out until you end up with that one you're supposed to be in. So if you're entering into a bunch of like half-assed commitments with people, Libra, just expect them all to end stunningly until you pick the right one. Yeah, devil with the fox. If you keep sailing off into these confusing situations where people are hiding their intentions, not being fully transparent here, you're getting yourself into the weeds here, the, the devil, the fox energy, they're going to push you out of that in like a really chaotic way. All right? Very chaotic way. Yep. I just clarify that to a big one. Because you had the ring and the bird here, and there's the ring and the bird again. Yes, your ancestors have already picked out your soulmate. They've already picked them out for you. Also, if a lot of you are thinking about getting married or just entered into commitment, some of your ancestors are really happy about that. A lot of you are, there's a really confusing situation coming up with something being added to your house. Either a child, a guest, a relative, somebody. I feel like you're going to get news about... It's like something that you don't want to have to commit to, but you're going to have to make this commitment. It's almost like you don't want to help this energy, but you're going to be forced to. Yeah. 
It's like you don't want to help whatever this is because you feel like they dug their bed and now they need to lie in it. Like you dug your grave, now lay in it. Like this is your own doing. It almost makes you angry to have to like deal with this situation again. But I feel like this time is the last time. And I know that is probably something you already heard from this energy, but I feel like that's very true this time. Yeah, it is. There's a need to place firm boundaries on whatever this is and let this person know this is the last time I am bailing you out. Like literally, it's the last time I'm bailing you out of trouble. It ends here. Like you're either going to get the help you need or you're not. You're getting justice. A lot. You guys are going to find your soulmate, a lot of you. I love this. Justice with the lobster, the horseshoe, the bridge, and the tree. It's finally getting the commitment you deserve. It's finally feeling like you're having a turn of good luck. It's finally feeling like you're protected and like nothing can be taken away from you. It's finally moving on to the future and getting out of the clouds. And these trees match up for you. All right, Libra, let's see what matches you had. You have the forest to the east. You have the lobster to the north. You have the horseshoe to the west. You have the bridge to the north. You have the handshake to the south. What else do we have? Was there anything else for you guys? I don't think that there was. If you guys want to know exactly what the book says about these positionings that you got, oh yeah, the book. You have the book to the um, east. Yeah, and those are all of them. If you want to see exactly what the book has to say, I will read word for word from the book for you. The extended, the link is in the description box below. It is free. Please go check that out and subscribe to my other channel while you are over there. Me and the babies would really appreciate it. All right, Libras, that is for you guys. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you next time. Love you guys. Bye.